Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Deep Run Shram, going between Stormwind and Iron Forge. And we are currently out of bounds, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, we're going to go take a look and swim with Nessie, my friend Nessie over here. And uh, we're going to go take a look um, in the water. Now, I got out of bounds uh, a really simple way i can show you um it should be in one of my older videos how to do it uh, it's not too hard you gotta like kick flip kick flip up do a seesaw jump up with the big giant growth potion fly over here and then get over there that's it guys all you gotta do <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe I can show another video how to do it, but I don't want to mess this up. So we're going to head out this way and we're going to go swim with Nessie. All right. So we are currently now swimming with Nessie in the deep run tram. This is way cool guys. Um, I've been wanting to get to this side. So you, uh, there's a few things you can see here right off the bat. Uh, you can't actually swim up. So once you come in here, you're actually inbound again. Now, Nessie's going to disappear. She's actually going to go uh, on the other side now. Or, oh, okay, she's over there now. Okay. Sometimes she'll go back and forth. Um, you can actually interact with this Naga Siren. Say hello. And then there's actually a deep run uh, diver over here, which is pretty cool. Now... I have been waiting to do this for since I was young. I've always wanted to open this treasure chest over here to see if there's anything inside of it. This is like the biggest moment of truth I've ever done in my life. So let's go see if we can open this thing. That did not disappoint. All right, that's cool. We opened the treasure chest in the deep run tram that you're never supposed to. <laughs> making history people making history um man that sucks so there's nothing inside of it <sighs> it'd be cool if there was like something in there like blizzard trolled you with like hey you're banned you're not supposed to be down here <laughs> or something i don't know just something like wacky it would be kind of funny um obviously i don't want my account banned but uh, it would be kind of funny if they're just like a big middle finger comes out of the deep run tram chest or something it's just like f you uh you're not supposed to be out of here now, what's interesting here is uh, if you swim out this way, you can actually uh, kill these sharks. And the sharks are actually level 70, I believe. Yeah, they have quite a bit of health. And they're elites, by the way. So if you fight the sharks, just be aware, they are elites. Um, I want to see how far we can swim out here. I'm definitely interested to see how far we can go out this way. We got to go back up a little more. Dude's going to spaz out here like a weirdo. Okay, so we did find the edge of the world here. Alright, so that is the edge of the map. So, let's head back this way, and let's go take a look at this sunken ship over here. Now, you actually, in the background, you can see a shadow of Stormwind. Uh, the, uh, un... <laughs> I was gonna say it again. Untextured version, I always say that. <laughs> uh, the, uh... The mini version of Stormwind, there we go. That's what I'll say. Uh, you can see in the background the uh, what you see through the portal when you walk to Stormwind. Uh, let's go fight this shark and let's go see how see how hard he hits. All right, he's actually putting up a fight here. But I think we're gonna have the upper hand here, boys. And ladies, if you're watching. Uh, we did it. All right. Now, the cool thing is you can't actually kill Nessie. That would be that would be harsh, right? But Nessie is a boss, believe it or not. Um, hey, we're walking around on the water now. That's cool. And our guy disappeared. Where did we go? Okay, there we are. So this is actually not water right here. We're in water, not on water. Or in water, or I don't know, whatever you want to say. 
we can get a better view over here of the whole deep run tram under now i did make another video i have seen the other side already so if you guys haven't seen that i'll uh, put a link in the description below this i guess you could technically say this is like a part two video of the deep run tram uh, let's go take a look over here and as you can see you get a little bit of uh, untexturedness over here And I believe if I actually were to come out this way, you, it actually uh, makes it so you don't swim anymore. Yep. So you can actually walk. Now, don't get too close because you will clip into bounds. Back in bounds. But as you can see, we can walk right here. So the water really doesn't start till right here. And then you drop back down. But if we go back this way, we will actually clip back in to the deep run trap. Well, let's walk about th this way and let's go see the other side. Let me hide my HUD here. I keep uh, turning it on on accident. And give you guys all a better view up close. And the reason I'm a skeleton, uh, I drank a potion because I don't want to die. Because you can suffocate out here, because technically it is water. So, whether it's fake water or not, it is water. And then here's the other side of the map. Cool, right? I mean, that's really it, guys. I mean, there's nothing, not, not much more out here. You can swim. Uh, you can only swim up so much. So be careful swimming. Um, there's the diver. He does walk around really far. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Um, if you've never been inside the Deep Run Tram water, I definitely recommend it. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, just for the sake of it, let me show you guys how I got in here. Um... And we're going to clip back into bounds. Now, you have to be on this side of the map over here. The only reason is uh, there's a certain pillar that's not covered in protection. So, actually, <laughs> I'll, I'll make a separate video on how I got in the water from the Deep Run Tram. So, if you guys want to try it, um, you know, you can try it yourself. It's not too hard. Basically, what you're going to be doing is there's a pillar right when you walk out of the glass over the water on this side of the tram. So not here, but the other side. Uh, there's going to be a pillar like right there. You can see it. What you're going to want to do is line your demon hunter up right next to it. And then you're just going to want to glide and then jump backwards. And you're going to land on top of the pillar like I just did. And then you can walk up to the very top and put a uh, dark moon seesaw and then elixir of giant growth and then you can get out of bounds that way so pretty old um not too hard of a trick but yeah i'll definitely make a separate video on how to do it so anyways i'm ranting hope you guys enjoyed this video as always my name is nathan uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe to the channel and uh i will uh see you guys on the next one take care